Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a Volvka playing the tier 9 Japanese tank destroyer. It is the Hori 1. Um, so yeah, Volvka is actually going to be using the stock gun on this vehicle. The 500 alpha damage gun instead of the big gun. I guess they don't have it yet or maybe they just want to go with uh, the lesser gun. I have no idea. But no clue. Uh, but I guess they just didn't unlock that second gun yet, which has a 650 chunky boy alpha damage, a lot of pen, just an awesome uh, gun, the second one on the Hori 1. So, instead of 650, we have 500 alpha damage, 265 at pen on the standard rounds, 305 on the gold rounds, and it, it just it just hits hard. There we go, into the side of the Skoda Tier 50. And yeah, Volvo is going to be using... A regular gun rammer, bond turbo, and bond hardening on their holy one over here. Can get a second one in, a second one to the shirt. <laughs> and it's it's just it's just so nice. It's just so nice. Um, yes, Volvka is firing gold over here, but I mean, when you're playing a stock tank these days, you're kind of like you do fire a lot of gold. Let me go switching to the regular rounds for the blanchard over here. That actually disappeared. So maybe. Maybe it connected with the Skoda T-15. We're gonna have to wait and see at the end of this battle. Maybe that even 90 will be cheeky. Maybe that even at... No, okay. Okay, so the Hori 1, the tier 9 Japanese uh, tank destroyer. It's kind of like the um, the German heavily armored tank destroyer line. Uh, where's the Eva 90? Does, uh, there, there it is. One into the Eva 90 over there. Nice shot into the track of the... Rolling for 589 is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, Hori 1. Absolutely lovely vehicle. That top part, that superstructure on the Hori one, is actually 300 millimeters um, thick, 300 millimeters of effective armor over here all around, which is delicious. If you can just hide your hull and shoot at everything, then it, it's like most vehicles won't be able to even pen you without gold. And even with gold, a lot of vehicles will struggle to go through this vehicle. Can I go into the standard view with a blind shell? Yes, no, gonna have to wait and see once again <laughs> in the post-game stats later on. So we already have two, two blind shots over here um, that we've seen. Maybe there'll be more though. Maybe there'll be more though. And yeah, apologies for the view range bug. Unfortunately, it's something that has been around for quite a while. It seems like it happens with 1.24 replays. And this replay is from 1.24, so... Yeah, just gonna have to unfortunately deal with that. It's kind of like the uh, the engine sound disappearing. That was a bug as well. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have a, a game without knowing what view range we have, I guess. Anyway, don't need view range when you have a big chunky boy gun in this matchup against some tier 8 vehicles. And there we go, Vovka using intuition again to switch to gold rounds, seeing that there's a T95 towards the west pushing forwards through that valley. You never want a T95 to push towards you. That is something you just never ever want. That is a deadly vehicle, heavily armored, chunky gun, very dangerous vehicle. We're going after the 7032 first into the top part of the 7032, which you can actually overmatch with a lot of those high caliber guns. You can also pen the Capola, which is very weak. But there we go. Going after the flat upper plate in this angle, it should be an easy pen, easy kill on the 7032, getting the first kill of this battle. But up to 2,255 of damage, T95, still going forwards. And luckily the T95 is getting smacked by a few things into the roof of the T9240. The I6B just took the kill, so... I mean, the T95 is down, that's what we care about, right? It does not matter who took the kill, who got the kill. All that matters is that the T95 is no longer in this battle. But yeah, the East is grumbling, the West was struggling as well. It's like one of those battles that... It's going to take a lot to get the win, right? Going to take quite a bit to be able to win this one. Are we going to get enough? I'm going to have to wait and see. Is Volker going to get enough, of course? Trying to go into the side of the Super Persia. Unfortunately, not going through that pretty heavily armored tier 8 American medium tank. Luckily, the T-54 is over there. The I-6B is pushing forwards. Finishing off the Super Persia. Trying to find the T-34-3. Can't find a shot over there. The RT has the I-6B. And yeah, maybe maybe you shouldn't push through, you know, get back to base because you're getting rushed over there. Going to the T-34-3, auto-aim into the backside, getting the kill. 
against the TNH Chinese premium medium tank that's just with has invested in a vehicle. That fortune autoloader is very, very dangerous. Luckily, put it one to the side. The GSO bounces on the whole reborn, which I mean. Even when the GSO is firing gold, and it has a lot of gold penetration, it gets like 313, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe, it, maybe it's uh, not that, though. Something around those areas. It's actually bouncing the GSO. 1008 was lovely over there. And finishing off the batch of 15555 is lovely as well. But if the GSO 1008, if it actually fires the gold rounds into the top, when it's just flat like this towards you, the GSO will go through most of the time. So you, you don't actually want to sit in front of that very dangerous Tier 8 British Tank Destroyer. Anyway, North has fallen, unfortunately. Ice 5 pushing into the base, but there's the artillery. There's the artillery going with a regular round against the M5355. Can we get the shot in? Easy peasy into the artillery, finishing off getting the best Gucci's medal over here. But now it is A2 V5 IS5. With the Wolfk over here against five of the enemy team. There's a Skoda T50 pushing forward. He's a one shot, hopefully. No low rolls, Wargaming. No low rolls, please. And the IS5 falls, so it is a 1v5. And the Skoda T50 gets shut down immediately. A tree falling towards our right there against Standard B, which is going forwards over here. My goodness, five kills, 5,000 damage. 1v4 now. One into the Standard B. Going to go for the Ram as well. You do want to actually ram the Standard B over here because he was not a one shot. So giving him the Ram. Is actually going to make him a one shot right now. Can he get the hit with the auto aim once again? That's pretty dangerous, but it is. It is going to connect. It's going to pen. I need to advance. I need to push towards the Vegas N501K quickly. You don't want to stay in one position when you're in those positions. But right? you don't want to just stay and be like, okay, I'm going to get caught by both sides. They're just going to have to push me. No. You have to be aggressive. Isolate them one by one by one. Just go. Put the shells in. Fight them and risk it all for the win, you know? Always risk it all for the win is what I always... Unfortunately, ricocheting off the VK. 25 seconds left. Can Volvo get the reset done? 20 seconds. My goodness. My goodness. The VK bounces off Volvo into the upper plane. Luckily, it does hit. It does go through. And now the VK is a one-shot. Didn't want to ram. Didn't want to lose the HP over here to the ram. One more into the upper plane. One more gold round. There it is. Finishing off the tier 8 German premium heavy tank making it a 1v2 now from a 1v5 so this is for the Colobanos medal if anyone was wondering. So 7772 was actually last spotted on all of their hit points that is not good that is definitely not what you want to see but I mean Wolfka is still on 1882 HP as well and yeah like I said with that 300 millimeters of effective armor on the superstructure you can bounce a lot of shells so yeah, this is a heavily armored vehicle you can tank a bit there it is you can actually see the tree falling from the back there we go the g-saw sitting at the back over there you can see the tree falling on that island where the td sit luckily two of those bounce which is really surprising really surprising so the g-saw is firing those very filthy gold rounds but, I mean, it, that's what you need to do. The Jizo has awful regular round penetration. One into the side of the 7772, which luckily bounces as well. Oh my goodness, no one can pen Wolfka end of this battle. Another one into the side, no into the hull. There it is. Unfortunately, no rolling again. And that means the 7772 is a two-shot, unless Wolfka goes for the ram. Going for the ram. There it is. Lowering him to a one-shot. Going through the Capola. That's actually an awesome play by Wolfka here. Instead of just waiting, taking another hit, pushing forwards, going for the ram, take that 200 damage from the ram, but finish off the 772 before he's able to reload. Delicious stuff over here. And that was just a one shot G saw. But, but, right, that G saw can three shot Volvka, and it'll take only like four seconds from the first shell. Right, it's like one shot, two seconds, two shots, two seconds, three shots. And even if they do not pen one of them, they still have that fourth shot left in their tank, so Wolfka maybe should just sit in the cap, wait for- no? Going after the G- that- that might be risky, where did you think the G-Saw went? Did the G-Saw go all the way towards the east into the city? Went towards the center, where is that G-Saw 1008? Can't get caught out over here, like I said, that G-Saw is a very dangerous burst vehicle. It does have a very long reload, 
but when it is reloaded, it can just burst you in a few seconds. There he is. There's the Jesus spotted. Get the shell involved. Get the shell and <laughs> Oh my goodness, right to the backside of the Jesus 1008. That was a close one. But I mean, this is this is what you need, right? Easy, easy peasy win. I mean, it, it it's just how you play the whole one. My goodness, Volvka, amazing game. Using the armor effectively, using the gun effectively, and just being everywhere the team needed you to be. Nine kills, 9,415 damage, which is crazy, I mean, especially when you have, consider this is the stock gun. This is the small gun on the whole one. Okay, it's not, it's still not at its final form, okay? So yeah, amazing game by Volvka over here. We also had a few blind shots. Maybe, maybe we actually reached that magical 10k number. Gonna have to wait and see. Um, in the post-game stats, so I guess we're gonna go... We're gonna go over to the post-game stats then. There we go. Easy ace tanker for Volvka with a 2057 XP over here. Uh, one of the blind shots did hit, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough for that magical 10k. A bunch of those ribbons, a color panels medal for standing alone against at least five of the enemy vehicles, and emerging victorious. A pass Gucci's medal for destroying both the M5355 and uh, the Batch at 155555555555. Rally Walters for destroying eight or nine vehicles, nine in this case. A defender for getting 95 defense points. Um, a high caliber for 9901 damage. A tank sniper for causing most of that damage um, from a distance of at least 300 meters. Steel Wall for blocking 3040 hit points of. Um, of damage shot towards Volvka over here. Top gun for six kills or more. Which is like a top gun and a half, I guess. Like I said, it's just after. My goodness, 9,900 damage. It's just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, 26 shots fired. 23 of those hit. 21 penetrated. Lovely, lovely ratio. Especially, like I said, considering it is a stock gun. It is not the big gun. It is not the gun with the high amount of pen the damage, the DPM, it is the stock gun. It's just insane. 2,000 of the, the damage was from a distance of 300 meters or more. 11 hits received and only 2 penetrated. Amazing armor um, efficiency with the Hori over here. Um, 3,000 damage for Kvadiyama, like we said. 1 vehicle spotted as well. 12 of the vehicles damaged, 9 of those were destroyed. 559 damage calls due to the player's assistance and, like we said earlier, 95 base defense points. And, I mean, even with firing goal, even though this vehicle is a tech tree vehicle, tier 9 vehicle, still makes a little bit of a profit over here, 35,000 credits, which is always fun to have in your tech tree vehicles. It just shows how good your game was, you know? And, yeah, 2057 base XP, 3086 with all of the, the bonuses and whatnot. 155 free XP over here, and just an overall amazing battle. So, yeah, GG, well played, Volvka. Just an insane amount of medals over here for the whole re one. Absolutely amazing game. Uh, but, yeah, this is it for this video. So, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the whole re one? Do you think it's too good, too bad, good as it is? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on the vehicle, on the battle, on whatever it is that you like. And yeah, as usual, thank you so much everyone for watching, you're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell us people, have a good one!